This episode is brought to you by Domain.com. Have you heard of parents hosting measles parties? Seems pretty extreme, right? Well, it turns out that it's pretty inaccurate. <laughs> hey everyone, Julia here for DNews. Lately, there's been a lot of buzz about these so-called measles parties. The report seems to originate out of Marin County, California, where a local mom told a news station that another parent approached her with an idea. Have a play date with another kid who has the measles. This idea kicked off a media frenzy this month with outlets like Fox, PBS, and others reporting on it. So why would someone deliberately infect their kid? The idea of a measles party is to boost a kid's immune system by intentionally exposing them to a virus. Parents wanting to avoid vaccines make their healthy kids hang out with sick kids so that they might catch it. The idea is that the disease is something similar to chickenpox, mild but annoying, almost a rite of passage in childhood. But the fact is, measles can be deadly. Thankfully, there doesn't seem to be credible evidence that measles parties are actually happening. The California Department of Public Health said they do not have any information about measles parties, but they strongly recommend against the intentional exposure of children to measles, as it unnecessarily places the exposed children at potentially grave risk and could contribute to further spread of the outbreak. Pox parties, on the other hand, were a real thing. In the not too distant past, before the invention of a vaccine, kids got chicken pox, a nasty, itchy illness which triggers painful, itchy blisters to appear on the skin. I remember how horrible it was. Taking oatmeal baths and rubbing embarrassing cream on my arms, the itching was torture. But it's usually mild and lasts only a few days. Before the days of the chicken pox vaccine, pox parties became a thing. Get infected with the virus as a kid, deal with it, and move on. And getting the family sick at once might mean less time missed at school and work. There were also rumors of a lollipop ring. Parents would get their sick kids to lick a lollipop in the hopes that it would coat it with a virus, and then they would mail it to someone so they would give it to their kid. And now that some parents distrust vaccines, pox Pox parties are popular again. We might remember chicken pox as just an annoying blip in our childhood, yet before the chicken pox vaccine became available, there were 100 to 150 deaths from chicken pox among the US annually. According to the study in the journal Clinical Infectious Diseases, there's even evidence that kids who get chicken pox are four times as likely to have a stroke during the six months following infection. So the bottom line is that if you want to boost your kid's immune system safely, vaccinate them. Vaccines give a low dose or deactivated strain of a virus to allow your body to create antibodies against it. This way, when you come across an actual strain of the virus, your body can fight it off without any of the nasty side effects or complications. Switching gears for a moment, we'd like to thank Domain.com for this episode. No Domain extension will help you tell your story like a .com or .net domain name. And because you watch DNews, you can get 15% off Domain.com's names and web hosting by using the code DNews when you check out. So what do you think about pox parties? Leave your comments down below and hit that subscribe button for more D news every day.